welcome to the Be on the Sunny Side podcast. This is your host, Maggie Ishii. In this podcast, I facilitate your personal transformation uh, by shifting your perspective to remove your fears, self doubt, self sabotage, and beliefs with psychology, brain science, and ancient wisdom. And my personal experience, my per- lessons I've learned in my life, um, so that you have more confidence and you are happier and have a fulfilling life and living the best version of yourself. And one thing, I'm sure I've said this before, but everything starts within you. Your happiness comes from within and your fulfillment comes from within. It's not from outside or, you know, things or um, somebody. And I think I will have another topic on that in a a different episode. But today I wanted to talk about that there is always positive and quote-unquote negative. There is always going to be like good and bad. And that's the universal law, a law of polarity. Um, That's a one word that it's hard for me to pronounce. But anyway, we... You know, you might heard like uh, two people arguing and there was like two truths. The one person truth, other person truth. And I also heard that there was like third truth. That's where it's like from like third 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 party perspective. But anyway, I wanted to talk about that. When like there's always positive and negative. And then when we think, when we see things in a negative way, we forget to see the positive side. And here is actually what happens when you look for an information, you will like, let's say, um, when you have a certain belief about something and I'm going to use as a coffee, if you think that coffee has so much positive um, like benefits to your health and you ask your friends or you you know go online and search information, you are going to find information that would confirm with your current belief. And here's the fun part. Even if there are information that is conflicting with your current belief, our brain is so smart that we delete it. Our brain um, distort, delete, and generalize because with so much information, and that's not just like internet search result, but when you just look around, there's so much going on, whether you are at home or outside. If you're outside, you probably see it. There are, there are, there is tree, there are people walking on the street, there are cars, and you see, I don't know, supermarkets, and you know, like, like imagine you're working in a supermarket, and there's just so many things, you so many things to look at, and you feel that way, but that's always happening in your life, you just know a lot of things uh, that's already there, like if you're at home, you already know where to find the, uh, you know, your glass, or uh, where you put your uh, laundries and things like that. But anyway, um, there's always so much information out there, so many things that our brain has to process. Our brain has to automatically sort it out the information so that we don't have to worry about it. Have you heard um, like experiments where you go into the room and you just look around for like, I don't know, three minutes? And you go outside and then the the people tell you, it's like, hey, what was colored red inside the room that you were just in? And you can't think, You maybe you can only think of like three things. But when you go back in, they're all like 10, 20 different things that are colored, you know, in the, in the color red. And that's what happens. Like sometimes it's like you're looking for keys or a phone and then like that was like right in front of your face, but you couldn't see it because you weren't really looking at it. And it, maybe you were like the eyes were there, but your brain weren't like registering it. So that's what happens. But anyway, got a little sidetracked. But so 
Um, going back to like benefits of drinking coffee, if that's your current belief, then you're gonna always see the information that would confirm with your belief. And that goes same with like politics and like religions and and like there's nothing wrong with having that belief or some you know that um the information to be to be heard like to understand that the information is that that's the truth however there's always other side to it too like through the coffee if you look up the side effect and negative effect on drinking coffee every day there are also information um you know through internet or through talking to people you're gonna find those information as well and that goes same with like diets. You can find if like being vegan is the the best um, diet for a human. And if you look for it, that's whether online, talking to doctors or, um, you know, social media and YouTube and all that, like you're going to find all the information. And then with algorithm these days, you're going to keep getting the information that would confirm with your current belief and like i mean with diet it's not gonna be like why being vegan isn't good for you but you can still look that up and then you will find information that might not be good for you and then i'm not here to say what's good and what you should do i'm just saying that there is always like two sides to everything and that's universal law a law of polarity and like in real life there's always like i'm gonna go a little side tangent but like you can't feel happiness if you don't feel sadness if you don't like if you're never um trying to think now yeah like if you never I'm trying to think of a good example. Well, happy and sad is always like, it's good. Like you wouldn't appreciate sun if it, like you wouldn't appreciate sun outside if that's all all you're getting. Like because it rains, it snows, and then you know it goes at night and we don't see the sun. So when the sun comes out, we 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 appreciate we have a gratitude towards the sun and so that goes with like diet coffee and like stats i kind of like all this like uh scientific articles talking about um you know there's like i don't know 30 percent of female in this age range they said or they felt or they had this you know, tendency of X, Y, Z. And like, it's kind of funny with the stats because it's like they're like a research size is not like millions of people. They they don't usually say unless like you are really reading a, like a um, academic articles or academic like uh, papers. But like... Here's the one thing that I kind of like, kind of question sometimes where it's like, you know, we hear this like 50% of marriage end up in divorce. And while some smart people say like, yeah, of course, because like, you know, the government has a stats who's married, who's not married, or who gone through a divorce. Yet, like, when I look around my group of friends, I don't have trying to think I have maybe like two people who gone through divorce and remarried while the rest of my friends are whether single or just happily married so that stat like 50 like you know 50 percent like that doesn't really apply to my social circle but hey you know who knows like Sometimes um, there is like article, it's always funny that like if you like, I'll just drink, use a coffee because um, I already brought it up and like they're the ones that, you know, if you drink coffee every day, 
you have, you know, I'm just making this up, but it's like higher, like um, high risk of getting a heart attack. Or, you know, if you have this much sugar every day, you are like end up getting, um, I don't know, like a cancer or something. Like I'm just making this all up. But it's like, my point is that like the, the study that they've done, it's like such a small group of like a small sample that they can't really apply to it and then those are like conspiracy theory like who is funding that study because they you can do always you can find some sort of academic where that's gonna show whether like a coffee you know has a good uh benefits versus like side effects and you know like all the negative stuff so what I wanted to really focus on, okay, so then, then um, yeah, so like the stats and then the news, when you look at news and the news is like definitely, I don't watch news and, you know, you if you do, that's fine, but you got to kind of be careful with what kind of news you're watching, whether that's on TV or like on the internet, social media, because a lot of it, and it's not even just news. It's like a lot of videos even these days, like on YouTube, they exaggerate a lot of things. And so that like it's more, you know, like a clickbait or bring fear, grab people's attention um, with a fear. So that because when people are in fear, they, you know, tend to like buy more things because people freak out. Like look back 2020, you know, the news was showing all this, like, pe- it sounded like people were dying left and right every day. And that could be true. I mean, that was true in a sense. Like, but it's like, that wasn't something brand new. There was always going to be somebody dying and, and you know, um, being born every day. But because they emphasize that virus and they you know, the news kind of try to scare people and then people are freaking out. Like, I was kind of freaking out. Like, okay, like, when the lockdown was announced, it's like, is everything going to get locked down? Like, you know, if that was in, like, a like a zombie apocalypse. And, you know, those, like, necessary information, like, what I was kind of mad at, it's like, they didn't say that we could go to this grocery because if that was said, like, people wouldn't freak out and buy so much stuff. I thought, I guess, you know, you got to kind of eliminate the, uh, like, you know, contacting with other people or being in the same room as other people. But anyway, either way, it's like, there's a lot that was like so much, like, scarcity and then fear. And like, imagine watching, not even a COVID, you know, watching like a commercial of like a medication. It's like, they do this like, marketing tactics they show this like happy family in there but you know they so they kind of picture you it's like oh this is where you could be and then you know like monotone they tell you all the side effects and then they always say like you know you have to consult with doctor or whatever but like you are so caught up in the visual like you don't even hear it or see this uh, small print but anyway so you can choose what you wanted to listen and whether it's positive negative good bad light dark you know whatever all this like the opposite things you get what you look for and what i wanted to really tell you here is that when you focus on just one side that's all you're gonna find like let me give you the example. If you think um, you, oh, here's a funny one. So like you look up a restaurant that you wanted to, you're looking for a restaurant and you find one online and you're reading a review. And review is a really funny thing because people who had a, like the best experience or the worst experience we leave reviews. So it's never like three stars. It's usually one or five, sometimes four, but never like two or three in on average. 
But anyway, so like if you look up a, a restaurant and it has a ton of like one, two reviews, we automatically think that it was like it's not a good restaurant. But you walk in and then you love the food. And so you're like, why are these like, I don't understand why, you know, this is like such a low starred restaurant. But if you get so pulled with like this one, two star negative review as your, um, you know, part of your decision making process, and then you walk in, and let's say you didn't, you know, you just, as soon as like, let's say they didn't have something you ordered or, you know, they didn't have in stock or, um, you know, they just like, um, you know, they brought some different like wrong food. You automatically think that it's like, oh, I shouldn't gone. Like I read the review. I should have known, you know, but then you forget that all the great things that was offering, like maybe they had more food options or maybe they had a favorite dessert that you like and all this thing that you can you can find but you focused on the negative because that that what you that's what you were expecting and I want to talk about like with the um like I'm trying to think the um I guess more like the negative, like when you, especially like when you are paying for service, like whether that's like car repairing or real estate or like, you know, hiring a lawyer or like anything that's like not non-physical product related transaction. When we look for negatives, like we um we gonna you gonna find a negative result like if you just had a bad experience with um i'm trying to think like let's say you think everyone's come out to scam you whether that's a restaurant or car you know car shop or wherever you're going to automatically, as soon as they did something, I don't know, maybe that's how they do it, but like something that you don't like, you're going to say, oh, you're trying to scam me. And if you are always looking for that, that's what you're going to get because you are, it's kind of funny because like, this, like our reality is a reflection of what's like what we're thinking not the other way around because uh the, this is like the the things that I was going to talk about in each episode that reframing like there was this one um like one experience can be can uh one experience can be experienced in a uh wait no one thing um, like people would, I'm trying to put the top together. Um, like one experience can be experienced differently by each person. So as an example, I've used before where this one person saw a bee and this person's terrified of bee. So as soon as he or she saw the bee, they're like, Oh my God, terrified. I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get sting. And on the other, other, other hand, the other person, when uh, he or she saw the bee, it's like, oh, you know, it's great that, you know, there's, the bee is alive and that must be there's a honey, that must be there is plants out here because guess what, if there's no bees around this own planet, like, the humans won't live that much long. Um, but anyway, so even just to you know, the event itself is just be flying. Two people are experiencing totally different things. And that's where, you know, there's always like positive, negative. I just call it, label it as positive, negative. 
um, you can call it good or bad, or you know, this that's a bright side or the shadow side, however you want to call that, you know, left and right, whatever. But, um, oh, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah, <laughs> now I'm coming back. So, with B, B example, like B didn't do anything, but because you already had the thought of, I'm terrified of B, you saw the B. And you're like terrifying. So now you have anxiety, you have a fear. So it's it's not nothing that B did to you in that moment. Maybe you got, you know, stung in the past, but not in that moment. Like B just there. And so whatever you like whatever the current beliefs you have about yourself or the people or things, that's always going you're gonna find it's not even that you are going to find. It's just going to, that's what you're going to see it as that's the truth. Like, you know, as an example, let's say, you know, the cops are bad. And then that's, again, it's kind of like generalizing um, in our brain thought process. But, and so you see, you hear a news that cop is, you know, I don't know, did something wrong. Now you're like, see, I told you. And like before you even say the see I told you, like you already knew that that was going to happen, but you never saw all the the rest of the cops that's out there and doing their great things, and you don't even point that out. And that I'm just using as an example, but that happens a lot with like relationship, and I'm speaking from my experience where you notice a lot of like negative things and then criticize other person. And we forget to see the positive side. And when we focus on positive, you're going to find more positive things. When you focus on negative things, negative things you're going to find negative things. And it doesn't matter if that's a person or yourself or the world out there, other people, other things out there. If you think everyone's out, you know, out, to, um, out there to scam you and take advantage of you, that's the experience you're going to experience. But if you are looking for positive, you know, getting the sports and service you need, the best service you want to get, that's what you want to experience because you're so grateful for what they do and their knowledge and the experience have. Like, especially, I don't know why, like, when it comes to service industry, like, whether that's, a, you know, the lawyer or real estate or, like, coaches and person, personal, like, trainers, People think like, oh, no, they're trying to scam. But it's like, in or they, they try to get a discount just because the pe there's it's like the person doing the job and not the machine or you're getting the physical product. Somehow you get to decide, like, what's good or not. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's a kind of like a different topic. But um, anyway, so my... The biggest like point here is that there's always both sides, like two sides to everything, and you get to choose what you want to focus on, and what you focus on it multiplies, whether it's positive or negative. So you get to decide what you want to multiply and you know get more of in your life. So that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching or thanks for listening. <laughs> I always forget because I'm doing a video. Uh, but uh, thanks for listening. Until next episode, have a beautiful day.